What's up, bitch? What's up, man? Welcome to another episode of Ask a Real Nigga, where you guys get to ask us questions. And then we give you the absolute shittiest answers possible. We pretty much give you the worst advice humanly possible. Top rope Zeus, we in this bitch. Brother Richards, let the ratchetness begin. Our first question comes from Corey from Brooklyn, New York, and Corey writes, My girlfriend is too ratchet for me. I want to dump her, but I don't know what to tell her when she asks me why. I don't want to tell her she's too ratchet. If you were me, what would you do? If it was me, I'd be honest with the precious little hood booger. I would just tell her the ratchet reasons why I'm dumping her. I'm dumping you because your C-section scar is diagonal. You got a gold tooth with your daughter's prom picture on it. You wore a jersey dressed to my sister's wedding. All your sexy panties come from Walmart. You never have toilet paper in the bathroom. I always gotta wipe my ass with a bunch of McDonald's napkins. You made your son use your purse as a school lunchbox. I'm dumping you because you went to your daughter's career day and told everybody you was a certified bad bitch. Corey, you motherfucker, stop being a bitch. You cannot not be a bitch about this. Here's what you do now. Grab a fucking notepad. Write everything that's wrong with her. Everything that's ratchet about her. Make your voice deep and shit. Buff your fucking chest up. And tell that bitch without being rude. <clears throat> bitch, you ratchet. Your weave was passed down four generations. You grease your baby hairs down with cheese whiz. Your titties don't match. One titty big and you sold the other titty for $2.99 and replaced that bitch with a golf ball. You have a knockoff polo fucking microwave. Your coochie smell like Wendy's coupons. You thought you bought yourself some Christian Louboutins, bitch, he bought you some Chris Angels. Now tell her all that, and she's gonna leave you the hell alone uh, after she sends her Down syndrome having cross eyed, fucking swole, gang banging cousin to come fuck your shit up. Our second question comes from Sama from the UK. Sama writes, Okay, so I started dating this guy. We had sex, and it was bad. I'm not interested anymore. How do I get him to leave me alone without hurting his feelings? Just do the worst things you can possibly think of to get guys to go away. Shit with the door open. Don't put the fan on. Don't spray. As a matter of fact, take a magazine and woof it. His direction. Wait till he yawns and then poot in his direction. Go in the refrigerator. Take a piece of bologna. Take the red ring off the bologna. Then pull your hair back in a ponytail. Stop shaving your jungle gym. Just let it woof out. Once he goes down there and sees your snappy nappy dugout, looks like Kimbo Slice, Tom Hanks' beard and castaway, pretty sure you'll go away. Uh, look at some all sweet and shit, don't want to hurt his feelings and all that. Now that's real cute, but it's 2013 and we don't give a fuck about no feelings. You gotta make this dude fucking hate you. Go light skin mode on this nigga, bitch. Yes, activate light skin mode. Make it your goal to set record long ass response time. Get your light skin friends involved. Make it a game. The light skin girl with the longest delayed response time is number one on the light skin chart. Game number two now, compete with your light skin friends to see who can give shittiest responses when they finally get around to doing that. After three months of making this dude wait for response, hit that nigga with an apostrophe. Uh, send him an empty speech bubble. Hit space and press send. When he wishes you and your family a very Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, all that shit, don't give in. You gotta stay strong. You gotta stay light skin. You tell that nigga backslash. He's gonna hate you and he's gonna leave you the fuck alone. For question number three, we got Martin from Virginia Beach. And Martin writes, I've been friends with this girl for years now. We just started dating finally, but she could be the one and I'm nervous. How do I not screw it up? What do you think, Jay? Okay. Okay, now, Martin, you check this out now. Uh, for some reason, girls don't like no nigga who's not going to screw up. They want an asshole. They want somebody who's not going to give a fuck about them at all. Now, I know what you're thinking. Actually, I have no clue what the fuck you're thinking about. You just gotta listen to me because I know what I'm talking about. Give her the asshole she knows she wants deep down inside. Send her that morning text. Start her day off right. No, nigga, not good morning, baby. You gotta give her something that she's not expecting. Try, uh, get up, bitch. Wake the fuck up. Yes. Lick her face in front of grandma. Dunk your ball sack in her Captain Crunch. Buy her a Valentine's Day gift and give it to her cousin with the fat ass. She having problems, she wanna cry, she wanna talk. Tell that bitch, talk to you fucking bacon strips when she making you breakfast. And then bacon strips talk back. Pop, 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 bitch. Yo, treat her like shit, and y'all are gonna be inseparable. Y'all are gonna be a cute little couple. For some reason, being a nice guy just doesn't work no more. And this is the new shit. And if that doesn't work, just remember, any mistake can be solved with three letters. E-B-S. Eat it, beat it, spoon it. Hopefully we answered your questions as ignorantly as possible. If not, then we'll work a little harder next time. Why the camera coming back to me, nigga? I ain't got shit to say. If you want your question in the next episode, place a question down below. Subscribe to Jay's channel. Click subscribe on mine. Now, if you're not pleased with the answers we gave y'all, subscribe to my ball sack. Uh, Peace, bitch. Peace, bitch. This new hairdo is bad. She went from Beyonce knows to Beyonce no longer look like a fucking woman, yo. Beyonce look like the third and final evolved form of Anderson Cooper.